Four serious crashes over this holiday weekend, two of them deadly in the Southwest Valley. It comes as deadly crashes statistically go up starting today and running through Labor Day, known as the 100 deadliest days of summer. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. Latoya Silman has a night off. Data shows more young people are typically killed in crashes during this time of year. But as News 3's Kristen Drummond reports, traffic safety experts also remain concerned about adults. The latest deadly crash happening here on Buffalo near Bedura. You can still see spray paint on the ground showing where a car hit a woman identified as 25 years old who was crossing the street. Now this crash happening as traffic safety experts warn deadly crashes go up this time of year, especially among young drivers. I saw somebody like lifeless. An unexpected moment for Ramon Kirkling driving past the aftermath of a deadly crash on Buffalo Drive near Badura Avenue early Monday morning. Um, I saw others, you know, um, civilians helping, so I didn't really didn't know need to stop because I didn't really know what's going on and it was like 1230 at night. Metro police say a 30 year old driver hit a 25 year old woman darting across the road. Officers accused the driver of impairment and the woman not being in a crosswalk. This marks the 71st traffic related death in Metro's jurisdiction so far this year, up more than 36% from the same time last year. This happening on the start of the 100 deadliest days of summer, the name for the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day when deadly crashes go up, especially among young people. It's 100 deadly days for all drivers in a year in Clark County when we cannot afford any more fatalities to happen. Erin Breen with the Road Equity Alliance Project at UNLV. She and others stressing on Friday about their concerns heading into this period. Since we had Memorial Day kickoff last year, 30 young people have lost their lives in our community. I'd like to add that 11 of them happened when other teenagers died in the same crash. Over the weekend, Nevada State Police responding to a deadly two car collision at 215 and Jones. Troopers say a woman died but did not share her age. Metro Police also investigating a three wheeled motorcycle hitting a young boy on rollerblades between the age of 11 and 14 on Desert Inn Road at La Cañada Street. Officers say he is seriously hurt. When he was attempting to come in, the light was flashing. Uh, it was amber, yellow. A slingshot uh, sped up to try to beat the light, and that's when the young person got struck. Back on Buffalo, Kirkling questions the circumstances around the crash. It was kind of bizarre because there's no streetlights. There's no, you can't see any, anything at that moment, so by somebody getting hit, it kind of makes sense because there's no street lights there, but makes him want to stay more aware while traveling this summer. Try to watch out for each other and just try to, you know, you know, just try to be a Samaritan and just be on the lookout. Court records show the driver faces one count of DUI reporting in the Southwest Valley. I'm Kristen Drummond News 3.